What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. So, y'all, we about to get into Krishan in the studio making new music. Carlissa Shays, the F out of Nicki Minaj. We're also going to get into Jeezy and his uh, divorce situation Child. in this video as well. All right? So, let's get into it. Krishan is back in the studio working on new music. And Carlissa... Child, she working on a new black eye. You won't believe who she came for. Child, Nikki. Nikki? Nikki yes, Manon. the queen. Marlissa, their bars be to knock the rainbow out your ass. Child, <laughs> I'm telling you. But let's get into this new music from Krishan. <laughs> Girl, she in okay. the studio cooking. Now to this Nicki drama. Girl, so a video was posted of Nicki Minaj getting her hair washed. Mm -hmm. And why Carlissa gonna take it upon herself and say, that's how mine's look. It ain't the inches, it's just thin. I said, whoop, she gonna bring that witch Onika out. You know uh -oh. she can tell uh, Carlissa wanted some attention that day. She said too thin with T-O. It's supposed to be uh, Hello. Summons them barbers without saying a word. She ain't even got to pull up, and they going to get the reading and eating with no problem. Girl, okay. if you want Nikki's attention, just say that. Um, Nick, Hello. do you even know who Carlissa is, let alone care what she has to say? What? Um, child. Anyway, so okay. Girl, now Carlissa's <laughs> roof is missing quite a few shingles. So I don't even <laughs> know why she would open here? her mouth to say something about somebody's hair. Girl, I guess this is a new method of clout chasing she trying out. She is. Carlissa is just crazy, y'all. So we're about to get into Jeezy and he done filed for a divorce. Child, are y'all surprised? Uh, Let us know down in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, y'all chime in. Are you surprised? I'm not. Mm. You know, I'm not surprised at all. Why? I feel like um, what she displayed just kind of gave I want to look like that for a little bit. But what she really like is that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. Honestly. She likes this, but she wants to try that. Oh, got it. You know what I'm saying? She done tried it out and fucked around and got pregnant. And thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, because that's all she been wanting. So now she done with it. Done with it. Child, that's crazy as hell. Okay, y'all, let us know what y'all think about that. It's been revealed by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution that the rapper Jeezy filed for divorce from the TV host Jeannie Mai. Oh, them fake Mai. kisses. I hate fake In the fake filing kisses. in Fulton County Superior Court says Jeezy, whose real name is Jay Jenkins, is already separated from Mai, and they have signed a prenuptial agreement. Jeezy Damn. is seeking joint legal custody of their daughter, who was born early last year. Now, Jeezy and Jeannie have been married over two years. They got married in March of 2021. And I remember mm. when they got married. It was yeah, very hush, -hush so And yeah, this is during the time The Real was still on. And for those who don't know, The Real was a talk show that Jeannie was a co-host on. But yeah, I do find it very interesting that now, two years later, they have split. Now, what made Jeezy file for divorce from Jeannie? Yes, yeah, sure. All the details, okay. but I do have Damn. my speculation on yes, why hey. it didn't work out. And before I get into that, I first want to thank Raycon for sponsoring this video. Ray come on, Raycon, hit me up too now, Ray okay. J. Okay, come now? on, Ray J. What's going on here? But period, sis, get your coin. Get your motherfucking coin. All plus free shipping. Now back to the video, Jeannie and Jeezy had an unexpected romance that started back in November 2018 and the relationship progressed pretty quickly. After dating for over a year, they got engaged and then they eventually got married. But the marriage was short-lived and I do think the reason for this is because Jeannie and Jeezy 
more than likely grew apart because they live two different lives Jeannie is in LA she lives the Hollywood life and Jeezy is in Atlanta and he's pretty low-key he will go out and do some tours here and there but he's a businessman in Atlanta so I yes, think they is. live two different lives they run in different circles they have yes, different them. friends okay, different cultures That's some shit. so I think they kind of got <laughs> together because they wanted something from each other and once they got what they wanted the marriage pretty much ran its course they both benefited from the publicity that this relationship gave them I True. think Jeezy married Jeannie because of the temporary publicity and also Jeannie has the look and aesthetic that he probably was going for he wanted to marry somebody outside of his race and he got that and he probably realized after a while that he wasn't really ready to be married for real this is actually the first marriage that Jeezy has been in from what we know at one point he was engaged to one of his exes named Malet Mahi. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but he was engaged to her. However, he called off the engagement. Jeannie was the only one he actually married, and I don't think he has ever made a commitment. Y'all, they did not kiss each other at all. <laughs> like, that be that fake shit I'm talking about. Ever made a commitment this big before. No, hold on. And, however, he called off the engagement. Jeannie was the only one he actually married, and this, I don't Look at this shit. I don't think he barely though he he back right up from it he right ever made oh, a commitment crazy. this big before and once he and got he married kissed. i'm sure he realized it wasn't for him and i do wonder if there was any infidelity going on i don't know for certain but i wouldn't be surprised if that were the I case too it. but for now i'm thinking mm. that jeezy probably got tired of being married he got married to Jeannie because it was good publicity for him at the time. And also, okay. he wanted to marry somebody outside of his race and culture. He probably was attracted to Jeannie for... What? Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. <sighs> Y'all think signing up for a marriage is worth publicity? I'm just wondering. Oh, they, I, I think that's too much. For that reason. So he had his motives. And also, I think Jeannie yes, had her motives for getting married to Jeezy as well. For one, Jeezy had money, okay? Jeannie was not going to get married to a broke dude. She was going to make sure he had money because she needed that security, especially after the real they kiss ending. Him right there. And also, I think she saw Jeezy as a way to kind of get her foot through the doors of urban entertainment so she saw the potential they opportunity child, they knew how that. to put some shit and it was together good though. Publicity for her as well <laughs> lastly and this is going to sound wrong to say but i think she might have gotten married to jeezy because she wanted to have a mixed race child with a famous rapper okay and i hate to say a mixed race child with a famous rapper was the stretch hun well now hold on i i do know women want mixed race children well, it's just going for the rapper part for me. Well, well, that's what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying on the show's a real statement that would have the side to be a black guy, but she was married to her. Being husband, white. I, I, my, basically, mm. she's. I date black. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this is not surprising to me. Just really wanted to just be on his own for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You was tired of your husband because he wasn't doing the things that you needed. So mm. you didn't found what you needed within Jeezy and he, you know what I'm saying? He's like, all right, well, let's do this thing. You know what I'm saying? I get look it. Good. I, I look good. Let's do it. She says she loves black men. I yeah. think women love the, 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 I think women outside of a race sometimes love the thought of black men. That's what I think it is. I think she just was fantasized like on his skin mm -hmm. and, and his being that he was and a rapper because she would do things like that on the ring. Like, mm. I don't know. You just think she wanted to get that little bit of I infatuation up off her shoulder. 
I think she was just really in that. You know what I'm saying? For that. Mm-hmm. Well, like beautiful, that. baby. But honestly, I'm starting to think it's true. Because prior to her marrying Jeezy, Jeannie was in a 10-year marriage with a man named Freddie Hartize. And throughout that marriage, she told him that she did not want any kids. And there were legitimate reasons why she didn't want children. She had a lot of trauma to unpack from her childhood. So that was a big reason. But also, I think she probably didn't see the opportunity in having a child, yeah, child with somebody like Freddie. Having a child or, with Jeezy no. was probably more appealing because she could stand to have more monetary gain. I mean, Jeezy is rich and black and famous, and she could capitalize off of having a biracial child with a famous rapper. And I'm not saying that she only had a child with Jeezy for money. I'm definitely not saying that. But Jeannie is not a dummy either. She knew that she wasn't going to have a child with the wrong person. And she saw Freddie as the wrong person to have a child with. I she wouldn't have had a child with Freddie either. the right person to have a child with. And Jeezy had the quality she was looking for. So I think Jeannie and Jeezy Jeezy both- had her ass sign a prenuptial agreement because she wasn't about to take none of his money. At all, baby. He a hood nigga, but he ain't done. He's dumb. a hood nerd, actually, is what he is. He ain't done. Far from stupid. They President. got together for okay. ulterior motives, and they got what they wanted out of the marriage, and they went... No, their... prenup don't have nothing to do with child support, but he the one who is taking out the divorce on her, so right. I'm sure he got uh, fucking child support money, child. He ain't worried about that. Some niggas don't mind paying the 20K a month. Okay, that's that's just Which is things. crazy, but Jeez. they don't mind doing that. Um, over paying her over a hundred thousand dollars a month for the lifestyle. Separate ways. I'll take the that's what I think. The child support Jeannie too. had something that his exes didn't have, and Jeezy had something that Jeannie's ex-husband Freddie didn't have. Freddie was not famous like that. He was just a regular white guy oh. who loves Jeannie for who she <laughs> okay. was. A regular white, white guy. guy. And that kind of was his fault because he allowed Jeannie to pretty much walk all over him. And yeah. Jeannie herself admitted that in so many words on the real. Mm -hmm. But Jeannie started to get a little bit more famous. She started to make more money. And she got to a point where she didn't really respect Freddie like that because she felt like he wasn't really on her Good level. Day. Now, uh, at one point, he was good enough for her because he did have some financial stability. He wasn't making crazy money, but he had enough that made Jeannie secure at the time, at least before she started making more money in her career. And also, she saw Freddie as somebody who was safe. Even though she was attracted to black men, at the time, she preferred to be married to a white man, and she did admit this on the real. Yeah, and the comment yeah. she made was pretty controversial. You dated black guys. Loved black guys. Yeah. She yeah. I did. I did. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know? That's why I'm married to white man. That's, That's what, what I like. I, oh. when, when I think about men, I like <laughs> dark men. I do. I right. Like, you like your main man to be white and the, your side okay. people be no. black. No. 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 She told me. No, that's what you just said. You literally just said that. Used to date black men. Okay. Uh -huh. I think they're attractive. But what I decided to stick to because it just kept me happiest was my man Freddie, who happens to be white. Are you okay. sure? Yes. Okay. No, she lied. That's why she got a divorce from the nigga. Okay. That was a really wild statement Jeannie made. She was wild for that. She did end up apologizing for it, but still, <laughs> listening to it again. This bitch says she like her dark meat on the side, as I if that motherfucker was a, a was a was a side. I'm trying to tell you. No, black or white is the main course. Which one you choosing? Was just yeah. Bitch, that's the protein. But Jeannie Where you gonna get your meat? Where you gonna get your meat? Because he had qualities that appealed to her, and also he was her true preference. Are she you couldn't sure? admit that while she was married to Freddie, but her true preference was always a black man, and a black man with money sealed the deal for her. However, her relationship with that black man still did not work out. And back to the topic at hand, I believe another reason why Jeannie and Jeezy probably didn't work out is because their communication may have been a little off. Like Absolutely. I said, I think That's they grew think. apart, and to me, it seemed like they had separate lives. And even when they did the whole baby shower thing on the reel, there was kind of a disconnect. I don't know, it just seemed like they weren't really compatible like that. Also, Jeannie admitted that she and Jeezy had some pretty heated conversations. Jeannie has so a hot temper, 
and her ex never really challenged her to change. But when she got with Jeezy, she did try to make some changes because unlike Freddie, she actually respected Jeezy and she knew that Jeezy mm. wasn't going for her nonsense either. So she tried to do what she could oh. do to be more submissive yeah, and be did. more, I guess, cooperative. But I think in the end, it probably got explosive between the two of them, which yeah. is probably another reason why they went their separate ways. For example, I have a really hot temper. Not a lot of people know this, but it's just something in my family. I've seen it in my grandmother. I'm sorry, I seen, saw it in my grandfather, to my grandmother, to my mom, to my aunts, to me, mm -hmm. right? But I didn't notice it in myself until I was with Jeezy. Interesting, you didn't notice in your previous marriage? No, no, because I, because it has to do with the type of relationship you have and the type of respect you have for that person to mirror things back to you where you actually would stop you in your tracks. And I know Jeezy was thinking, damn, I could have just stayed with a black woman with all that attitude. Ha! You, ha! And evaluate yourself, you know? So you had it. Right? So I well, had it, but nobody ever, nobody ever called me out on it. I didn't notice that I had a hot temper until I got with Jeezy <laughs> and Here's a person who they always go to other races and shit and be like, she ain't gonna give me no attitude. Nigga, attitude is a human thing, not a race. The fuck? Sometimes you just don't have good days. I ain't the one who like attitudes neither. But men do act like a woman can't ever have an attitude at all. It's like it just, bitch, nah. Help me. You you can't you can't do nothing. I want you to do what I want you to do. Nigga, that ain't how that work. These periods and shit happens. Mm -hmm. But you got to communicate with your woman. Be like, man, what, what's going on? You all right? She a T. <laughs> and if she say nothing, leave her ass alone. She a T. Y'all learn it every time we get into it. I say it ain't nothing wrong with me. So why you act here asking me something wrong with me? You know what? Yeah. Who this is ain't. my equal. <laughs> and I really respect. And when I would spew some of my old habits, and he was like, uh-uh. Like, who... That's not flying here. And also, it would trigger him to come back at me with things where I was like, who the f do you think you are? But I was triggering him. But he never told me to fix my temper. He, I just saw it and I thought, it, unless I want to stay in this place where I lose this person I love and I stay in my comfort zone of doing what I want to do and function the way I have for the last 40 years where nobody else had to stop me. Which obviously has done quite well for you. Right, I could have. But this was something greater that I wanted. And also a great challenge to myself to say, what if now that I know it exists and the dragon's there, what if I got rid of that? How do I kill that dragon or store it in its place so that it never creates havoc in my life? And that uh -huh. took work. So Jeannie admitted that she had to actually work on her anger when being in a relationship with Jeezy. Now, I don't know how successful her conflict resolution skills were. Oh were no, then that's the divorce. That's exactly why they divorcing then. He ain't like that attitude, Garen fucking T. He over it. Yeah, and he older now. I will say, I, so some women do just give attitude for no fucking reason. We actually don't have that issue over here. It's something. Nigga, I'm hungry. I'm cramping. Not cramping, but my period on. I'm sick. Hey. Or, yeah, that's about it. Like, but I hate women who just... Got an attitude for no reason. I can't deal with that. That absolutely is a non-negotiable uh, for me. I can't do it. I can't do no attitude all the motherfucking time. And then for no reason. I, I can't do that. So if she knew she had an anger issue and she didn't fix it. Well, she didn't. Because in her previous relationship, she was able to basically run over him. He never checked right. her in that area. She didn't see that until she got with him. I guess she couldn't fix it fast enough. She didn't fix it fast enough, evidently. He's up out of here. Well. Were because Jeezy still ended up leaving. And I'm not going to put the full blame on Jeannie because I know Jeezy has his issues as well. Absolutely. He's had a lot of drama in his past relationships. And he also was even arrested for being violent towards his own son. So... Hmm? Yes, Jeannie oh, has a temper, but probably Jesus his older son. He probably well. lost his fucking mind. So I don't mind. think the blame lies on one person. <laughs> Goddamn Just, children. And I'm not insinuating. Huh? Which they do. Yeah, children be, y'all, these teenagers be having life fucked up. Mm. 
that there Especially was these boys in their marriage. Child, but police. To me, it seems where is like it at they where weren't Jeezy, really communicating where is well. That at? I and that could have played a part in their separation. Oh, yeah. And they both went their separate ways. And I also think Jeezy got tired of being married, honestly. He hardly posts about his family on social media. And I always find it interesting when one person posts all about their family and another person doesn't. I understand that Jeezy wants his business to be separate from his person. Desi Banks does it. I, you wouldn't even know he had a kid on the way. At and all. now he got another kid and on the way. no clue. Uh, he never posts her, ever. She only posts him. Personal life. But, but I, I think he loved her. But I odd that he would hardly make posts about Jeannie. Jeezy is not like Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane is very proud of his family. He's always posting his wife, Keisha, and nah, children. That, his wife yeah. had but him Jeezy down. Wasn't no, that's doing different. That. And now I see why he and Jeannie clearly weren't in the best space, which is why he's separating from her. He was the one who actually beat her to the punch and filed for a divorce. And that speaks volumes. It really does. But anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <sighs> it's given, um, he realized, okay, it's one of two things. It's given, he realized that he was that dark meat on the side. Or he just wasn't about to deal with no attitude all the time. And that too. A nigga will divorce you for that. Absolutely. So maybe what you think? Dark me. See, it's like once he got with her, he was able to hear all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure. Right. It's in the back of his mind, and then you do some shit like this. Like I told you that you have a got an anger issue, got a divorce. Whatever you did, girl. Okay, move around. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Okay. So, excuse me. Get excuse out of my me. way. Goodbye. That's what uh, it is. That's what it is. But I will say she didn't divorce him, so that that's the part that's kind of kind of condescending. We may sound condescending because even her, or hypocritical rather, because mm -hmm. she didn't divorce him. He divorcing her ass. Oh. So... Well, how would it be on her? She just stated all her, all her things. Oh, she did. Yeah, her you having an attitude and all that. Now, not to say <clears> that he's <throat> squeaky clean, you know what I'm saying? That, now that I don't know. But all I'm saying is that based on the facts that we have right now, it Right. Well, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, I think it's, 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 it something was there that made him be like, hell no, nah, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, and he didn't think twice. At all. So yeah, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all.